Hello and welcome to Trendmaker. My name is Alex and today I've got a little do-it-yourself project. I'm going to put some privacy frosting on my upstairs bathroom window there. Now the first thing we want to do here is we see we have two main panes. We want to get some really accurate measurements. So we want to go ahead and measure in several locations on the window. All right, we want to get the width and the height. All right, mark that down. The general rule in construction, measure twice, cut once. Now that we've got our measurements, let's go ahead and cut our frosted tint to fit, and then we'll install it. Let's mark our measurements on the frosting. Don't assume that the factory cut edge is 100% square. Mine was actually a little bit off by about a sixteenth of an inch on one side, so I just sort of recut that so I have a nice square edge on the one corner. So 42 and a quarter, and then I usually do the 32nd. Twenty and three eighths, and we'll go from this edge right here. Uh. All right, so now we're gonna make our cut. I'll do this cut here. That way, we can sort of free up the roll. I'm going right on the line. So that first piece is cut, let's go ahead and do the second one. If you make your measurements on the smooth side, that layer actually gets peeled off as the backing, so your basically your ink and stuff won't show up on the edges. Now that my two pieces are cut, let's go ahead and install this. Now that we have our privacy frosting all trimmed, let's super clean this glass. So I'm using a little bit of glass cleaner here and a microfiber towel. You can use a paper towel, but it may leave a little bit of lint. This microfiber towel does not leave any lint behind. So we're going to give a nice scrubbing. Make sure you're in the corners really well. And if you have anything that's sort of stuck on the glass, you can always just very lightly take a razor blade and scrape it off. All right, getting all nice in the cracks and corners. And uh, this is super clean and ready to go, especially because I'm on my fifth take here. Now we're going to do just a quick little test fit of the film. Be sure that everything fits nicely. All right, so working the cracks. Looking good down here along the sides. Yep, everything looks good. To lay this film, we're going to peel back the sort of smooth outer layer. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the window really wet. The wetter the window, the better this will work. All right, so we're just going to peel back the edge here. All right, and so the textured side is going to be towards me, the smooth side on the Should be able to move this around a little bit. We want to get a nice fit in here. All right. So now I'm going to take my squeegee and we're going to sort of press the water out. And we'll just move this around if we need to. Okay, you notice I'm working from the top. Just pressing the water out. Sort of working with gravity. Just that out. Now I'm just going to run a little dry paper towel around the edge just to take up any of the moisture that may be seeping out. It should take a day or so for this film to fully dry to the glass. Uh, if you do notice like a little air pocket or bubble, just take your squeegee and just sort of press it out. It should just stick up, no problem whatsoever. This project is pretty much done. So uh, yeah, so a little bit of privacy in our bathroom. Happy about that. Uh, this uh, window frosting does come in a bunch of different sizes and widths. So basically you want to get a basic measurement of the size and then you can figure out how many rolls or what rolls you may need. Uh, both of these pieces were actually were on one roll and it's about $20, so it's a really good value here. And the rest of the tools, the scrapers and things like that, I'll put these links down below as well. Uh, these were only like uh, 6 or $7, and they really do make the job a little bit easier, especially because this has a little bit of uh, felt on the edge, sort of makes it so it doesn't scratch, and it, it 
it slides really nicely. Uh, if you haven't done so already, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe down below. You know, it totally blows my mind. It gets me super excited to produce this content for you. But until that next video, I'm out.